I'd like to share a, a story about a client that uh, we have cared for. She's very inspiring because um, we met her at the age of 100, and that's unusual. We got the call on a Friday night from a trust officer who realized that she was being discharged from the hospital after an illness and going home and didn't realize how to accommodate her. So he had the, the wherefore to you know, have the advocacy. We felt the power of advocacy would help her get home. So our care managers um, met her at the home. She was medically transported, but in the meantime, before we had done, is get a hospital bed in there. We had hired the caregivers. We had coordinated her physical therapy and all of that. So when she arrived home with medical transport and she came in, she wasn't too happy to see that she had caregivers in a hospital bed. She realized that she was independent at that point and she wanted to be, but she wasn't walking at that point and she really needed that level of care. So we partnered with her and really encouraged her and through, after about six months, she was doing so much better and um, she still needed the care and this, at that point she had really um, embraced the care. She knew she needed it. But she told us at that point, it's time. I've always gone to Paris and I want to go to Paris. We went, okay, <laughs> you want to go to Paris. That's wonderful. We called her trust officer and said, she wants to go to Paris. And he said, does she realize that she's 100? We said, oh yeah, she realizes she's over 100, but she wants to go. We said, we called the doctor. He said, there's no reason why she can't travel. So we'll take her to Paris. So to Paris we go. She had a wonderful time. Her caregiver went there. The care manager planned everything before she got there, was with her through the whole trip, and she had a great time. When she asked at 103 to go again, we were even more surprised, but her inspiration to all of us was she wanted to live her life to the fullest. She'd done this all her life. There was no reason in her mind why she couldn't do this again. So we did, we went back to Paris. Then at 105, she wanted to go back to Paris again. And we said, well, this time, let's talk about this. Can we go someplace closer to home? So we took her to Jamaica. Jamaica had a, a resort that had a medical uh, doctor on the property. So we said, okay, she's agreed to that. Her caregivers went with her. Unfortunately, the caregivers got a cold. They gave her the cold and we had to medevac her back because she was very ill. The care manager was waiting for her at the hospital. She had a direct admission. And when the nurses came in and saw how sick she was, and they looked at us and said, you know, I think it's time to let her go. And we just looked at them and said, but this is where she was last night. She was in Jamaica. She has a martini in her hand. She was in her bathing suit. She's not ready to go. Give her the IVs and let's get her healthy. And they did. We had everybody on board and within a week she was home. Again, the care. And she lived in her home which was a hotel all her life. She'd always lived in a hotel. So she had lived, she lived six months later um, where she was surrounded by her caregivers, her care manager. Everybody was surrounded by this woman who was so inspirational to see that you can do anything at any age. You can live to your fullest. Sometimes it takes help. And in this case, everything that a care manager did for her helped her meet that goal.